The Jim A. Z Show. California's farmers grow half of America's produce. Farmers here in California's Central Valley are leaving half a million acres unplanted. Message today for California farmers trying to deal with the drought. Today they learned that most of them are going to get no federal water this year. None. Three weeks after state water managers told farms and cities not to expect a drop of water out of their reservoirs this year, the federal government has made a similar announcement today. The Federal Bureau of Reclamation, which normally uses its Folsom, Shasta, Trinity, and Millerton reservoirs to irrigate enough California cropland to equal the size of Connecticut, told farmers to expect zero water over the next 12 months. Today, the federal government essentially told California farmers, you're on your own. Don't expect any water from federal lands. This is the first time California's Central Valley has been denied water from the federal government's resources of reservoirs and canals. You heard that California grows at least half of the nation's fruits and vegetables. But apparently that's not important to the federal government. Here's what's going on. And I can virtually guarantee this. I realize I don't have empirical evidence. But I can glean this from experience. We know that during the government shutdown, the Obama administration, following orders from Barack Obama himself, shut down different aspects of the federal government designed to make it as difficult, to make the government shutdown as difficult on Americans as possible. The Obama administration wanted the government shutdown to be as painful as possible for Americans. Because Obama knew that Republicans would end up being blamed for it. And that's exactly what happened. In this case, what's the big push going on now? Barack Obama just a few weeks ago visited the California farmers. And ever since then, there's been a big push. The Obama administration has been pushing this climate change global warming crap. All over the world. It's no coincidence. It's all orchestrated. I believe the Obama administration is doing the same thing with the California drought that he did with the government shutdown. His administration is trying to inflict as much pain as possible on the, the farmers in California and on the American people through higher prices at the grocery store in order to convince people that we, we've got to do something about this climate change, and we've got to do something about global warming because I can't afford these grocery prices, and we've got to do something so that the, the farmers in California can grow crops. He is punishing the American people because they don't believe in the farce of global warming, the climate change lies. President Obama told farmers on Friday they can expect more than $100 million in federal aid. So what happens here matters to every working American, right down to the cost of food that you put on your table. The president pledged more than $100 million in disaster aid to help farmers weather the drought. Okay, so Barack Obama is going to give farmers money, taxpayer money. And what does that amount to? Well, it's another form of welfare. The government is paying the farmers instead of giving them water. Money helps them financially, but it doesn't help get the crops grown. The prices for you and me at the store are still going to skyrocket. Obama is handing them money so that they can pay their bills, but it doesn't help at all get the crops grown. Water would do that, but Obama is not willing to give the farmers water. What does that tell you? He's not solving a problem. He's not even trying to solve a problem. He's not even trying to help. He's simply giving them money to keep them afloat, but the money doesn't help grow a single head of lettuce. This is bullcrap what Obama is doing here. You know, there are three things that make farming work in California, according to Joe. Soil, water, and people. And in the little free time they have, uh, 
Joe and Maria work to improve the health and safety of farm workers. Listen to all that drivel he's talking about that doesn't matter. Meanwhile, the farms are going dry. California is our biggest agricultural producer. So what happens here matters to every working American, right down to the cost of food that you put on your table. Yeah, these crops matter to every American, but we're not going to give you any water. We'll give you some money, but we're not going to provide any federal water. And Dianne Feinstein is standing there. Who else? Barbara Boxer is standing there. Governor Jerry Brown, loser that he is, he's there. Listening to Barack Obama talk about how much the farmers need water. And by the way, both of our senators, Dianne Feinstein and Barbara Boxer, they both agree that the Delta smelt needs to be protected. So all of that water, all that state water, is not water that the farmers can get. Okay, I I want you to hear what Obama's big plan is, a big four-step plan to help farmers in California. And I, I want you to think about this. Is any of this really going to help the problem in California? Is it going to help more crops grow? First, we're accelerating $100 million of funds from the farm bill that I signed last week to help ranchers. For example, if their fields have dried up, this is going to help them feed their livestock. Second, last week we announced $20 million to help hard-hit communities, and today we're announcing up to $15 million more for California and other states that are in extreme drought. Third, I'm directing the Interior Department to use its existing authorities, where appropriate, to give water contractors flexibility to meet their obligations. And fourth, I'm directing all federal facilities in California to take immediate steps to curb their water use. Yeah, for 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 the uh, God, (laughs) for for people like Barack Obama, who are so uh, so climate change minded, it's always about cutting back. Oh, we're going to cut back. We're going to conserve. We're not really going to do anything to help get the water that the farmers need. We're just going to cut back. So that's Barack Obama. Helping the farmers by doing nada. The Jimmy Z Show.